In the year 1901, off the coast of a small Greek island, a group of sponge divers found something strange inside a Roman shipwreck. Not gold, not statues, but gears. Bronze gears, locked together in a machine older than the Roman Empire itself. When archaeologists brought it to the surface, it looked like nothing more than a corroded lump of metal. But inside were more than 30 interlocking wheels, precision crafted with teeth so fine they could rival clockmakers from the 1700s. But this device was built over 2,000 years ago. It is called the Antikythera Mechanism, the world's first known computer. When reconstructed, the device revealed something almost unbelievable. By turning a single handle, the gears inside could predict the motions of the sun, the moon, the planets, eclipses, and even the dates of ancient sporting events. This machine could simulate the heavens with mathematical accuracy centuries before such technology reappeared. For decades, scientists wondered, who built it? How did they craft such precise gears? And why was nothing like it ever found again? Some think it was the work of a single genius, perhaps inspired by Archimedes. Others believe it belonged to a tradition of engineering that vanished after the shipwreck sank. A technology ahead of its time? Lost to the sea. X-ray scans revealed inscriptions hidden inside the mechanism. Tiny Greek letters describing cycles of the planets, instructions for tracking eclipses, and mathematical formulas so advanced they pushed back our understanding of what ancient engineers were capable of. It wasn't just a device, it was a message, a reminder that human brilliance appears long before history is ready for it. Today, after two millennia underwater, the Antikythera mechanism still holds mysteries. We don't know who crafted it. We don't know how widespread this technology was. And we don't know how much ancient knowledge was lost when the ship sank. A forgotten machine built by hands long vanished, yet still whispering across time to anyone willing to listen.